Hi everybody, it's Kim Jones from Clean BOC. Today we're here to talk to you about one of our partners, BMC Air Filters, who make a specific air filter for our V8 supercar application. But for the everyday road car, they make a very good high quality aftermarket product, uh, which will improve your fuel economy and is easily serviced by the average person. So let's go through the process of what we do here with our air filters, how we take them out, how we service them, and how we refit them to the car. So the first job is to lift up the bonnet. We have the air box here. It's very important to get the air up through and into the trumpets and into the engine. So, but it has to be clean, because any little fragments of dirt or anything to get in there really affect our engines and affect the life of the engine. So the first job we need to do is unhook the back part of the airbox, which is this here. So we lift that up like so, and the air filter is fitted in here in a snug little hole, and we just take it out like so. And there's our BMC air filter, all the way from Italy, specifically made to do our job. Um, so the next process that we need to do is to take that into the sub-assembly area and service it, which entails washing it, re-oiling it, and then coming back and fitting it back to the car. Right, section two. We have the air filter, which you saw us remove from the BAC V8 supercar. And uh, what we're gonna do now is just lightly knock the, the big bits and pieces out of the filter, and then we're gonna go and wash it, and we use a washing BMC washing fluid. So it comes in a box like this. Open it up, take it out. So that's the BMC air washing fluid and uh, their process is to run it down each, each strip and let it drip through. Um, but we've got a different way of doing it. We have some BMC fluid in our trusty spray here. And so what we do is the first thing is tip it upside down, knock all the big bits and pieces out of it. As you can see, the grass and stuff that's fallen out there and then we take it into the washroom. So we'll go into the washroom now. You pump up our trusty spray, start spraying, and then we just wash through and wash all the little bits of uh, fi very fine. It goes down to seven microns of filtration. So we have to get all those little bits of dirt and dust out of it all. So we wash it all out. And then what we'll do is uh, we'll, we'll let that dry off, which takes about 10 minutes, and then we'll come back and show you how to oil it. Okay, we have our filter, which has been sitting for 10 minutes now, so it's nice and soaked with everything. We have lukewarm water. When you spray it, you don't get too close. You just wash it off. Um, and this is all about increasing the performance in your engine and keeping it at its maximum flow. So you've got the most air going into it to get the best result and the best performance out of your engine with the best fuel economy. It's something that's very easy to do. You just lightly wet it and wash it out. Then you sit it aside, tap the excess water out of it. And then we just sit it aside until it's dry. Um, usually here, because we have a number of the filters, um, we let it sit for a day or so until it's dry before we re-oil it. Right, we're back here in the BJR sub-assembly area. We have our dry filter ready to oil. Um, we have, the first thing we have to do is work out which is the forward-facing part of the filter, which is this one here. We have an arrow marked on the top of it um, because it's only the forward-facing part that you oil. So you take the oil here, it has a cap on it so it's easy to oil, and you put it in the grooves and you run it down and we do each individual one, put the oil in, so it catches all the very minute particles of dust and dirt, um, stop them getting in your engine and wear and tearing that without incurring on any of the performance um, or the airflow capabilities of the filter to give you maximum performance. So we go right the way through each individual line, Make sure you get a good coating of oil in there. We're nearly finished, we've only got a few more to go. It's very important that you get each individual one and the oils spread on nice and evenly across the whole product before you uh, refit it back to the car. Anybody in their home garage can do this job. So that's the oil. 
That's the job done, all good to go back in the V8 supercar, ready for another race. So you've seen us do step one. Step two is the cleaning of the filter and the re-oiling of it and getting it ready to go back in the car. Step three is the final part of the program, which is we refit it to the car and then we're all good to go. So we take the freshly serviced air filter, pick it up over here, put it snugly back in its little, its little cradle, uh, like so. Goes in there, and then we refit the air box. On like so, and the job's done. So it's all good to go. And uh, as, you see, as you've seen by what we do with the cars, you can get that for your standard road car, do it yourself. It's something that you can service very quickly on a weekend uh, when it's required. It'll improve your fuel economy, and it's something that's reused rather than the current uh, paper ones which you get from a manufacturer. And then once they're dirty, you throw them in the bin, you have to buy another one, expensive. You go the outlay of buying this filter and then you can service it yourself. Thanks very much.